Nuno's restaurant at the Caleta Hotel, the venue for tonight's head-to-head -to -head challenge. Who will join Zoe? Will two of our contestants battle it out in the kitchen tonight? That I've seen, I think, Leanne, uh, it's a hard challenge, so I'm hoping uh, I don't get her. I think probably Esteban, um, at the end of the last round, I tried his food. It was great, even from day one in the audition process, everyone was watching out for him. Leanne and Esteban have just found out they are the ones going head Evening. to head. Leanne, Esteban, last week, our contestants cracked under pressure. Will you rise to the challenge tonight, Esteban? This is like last time, what we'll see tonight. Leanne? Absolutely, that's the plan. Do our best. So if you'd like to follow me, Scott is waiting downstairs. This week, the second of our restaurant challenges and a change of venue. Scott is hoping things will run smoothly tonight. If you'd like to take your whites, Scott, they're all yours. Thank you, James. Good evening, guys. How are we feeling, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, ready to go. Congratulations, first of all, making it through this far. Well done, but tonight the pressure's on. Got a full house tonight. Last week was a disaster, it nearly killed me. So let's hope tonight we can pull it off and get through this, yeah? Here you go, yours. Thank you. And yours. Thank you, sir, no problem. Nuno's restaurant is situated within the Caleta Hotel complex overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. This two rosette rated AA restaurant is renowned for its eclectic interior design, intimate atmosphere, and of course, fine dining cuisine. Leanne and Esteban meet Jan, the head chef at Nuno's. After a brief introduction, it's time to get ready ahead of another busy night. Getting to the kitchen and seeing so much seafood that had to be prepared was not what I was expecting. I never filleted salmon or monkfish before to clean out a lot of squid, peel a lot of prawns, pin bone some salmon, fillet a monkfish tail. It's slightly overwhelming to prep all that in such a short amount of time, but I think I can do it. Uh, I've never been into a professional kitchen. I think uh, the space is really good. Um, I'm hoping I can find my way around the kitchen quick enough uh, in time of the service, and uh, I hope it all goes well. Should I go to the sink? Easier to clean <laughs> these. Or oh, I clean them here and then do it. It's easier, no? Hi, um, I'm Leanne. I've been cooking for a long time now. I've always enjoyed it, but actually growing up, I was a very picky eater. Um, so it was only when I was about 18, 19 that I really started to enjoy food and decided that being picky just wasn't an option because there was so much food out there and so many flavors to try. Um, I, I still like cooking from a very early age. I used to help my mum in the kitchen and things like that but um, it's, it's more recently that I've developed a real passion for it and for experimenting with food. Um, I, I travel a lot, it's, it's one of my passions, food and, and travel both are probably equally important to me and, and when I travel I tend to pick up inspiration from the different flavours there so I try to recreate the dishes when I get home. Yeah, yeah, I need them for my sauce for the, for the main as well but I'm not gonna even think about my sauce for the main for now. Um, my name is Manuel, I come from uh, Venezuela. Uh, one of my passions is cooking. Um, I love Mediterranean food, but I'm very influenced by, by Asian styles as well. And it's all about mixing the ingredients in a way that you never thought of and uh, getting you know, uh, new experiences out of it. That's what cooking is for me. It's always been a pleasurable experience. I don't have big influences from, from my family to, to cook. Myself is just something that, that I like to do and that I've been you know, put, driving myself to do. I need my stock to be a bit more ready before I can start pre-cooking the risotto. 
The thing is that you also needed to let it rest. In theory. In theory, yeah. In theory. I'm gonna. In reality, gonna I think we're gonna finish right up when the service is up. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna uh, attempt to fill up my salmon and then I'll Jan? start on the rinse. Where's Jan? I need my blender. This week the kitchen is bigger, but the nerves remain the same. Both Leanne and Esteban have been asked to create their own menu for Nuno's, a starter and a main course. All produce must be sourced in Gibraltar. The best menu tonight will secure them a place in the semi-final. Uh, does this salmon have a lot of bones? Please, no. Oh, that is lovely. <laughs> that is a lovely piece of salmon. Yeah, it's massive. How lucky are you? <laughs> oh, but has bones. Oh, uh, I don't have time to be nervous. Um, I've got a lot to do. When you buy fish at home, it comes filleted from the fishmonger and you don't have to spend two hours cutting monkfish and prepping salmon and doing a lot of filleting and becoming a new skill to master or not master as it may be. Um, it means I haven't had enough time to, well, as much time as I would have liked to prep my other courses and my veg and there's a lot of, I've been a bit adventurous in what I want to achieve tonight so I'm, I've got a lot of prep to do but Scott yeah. gives Leanne some yeah. tips on handling yeah, the salmon. Yeah. So basically we start there. We'll just go along. See how there's every line there? Yeah. There's going to be a bone on each line there, so you push it back. See how the bones stick up nicely yeah. for you? When I was in Italy, all I got from, from my friends was very simple flavours, beautifully cooked and uh, just let the simple flavors come out and uh, hopefully the, the diners can relate to that and uh, it won't be a massive bank meal it will be very simple lovely home-cooked food as this show I believe stands. Biggest fear is uh, coordination, prepping time and uh, the food not being of the customers like. Apart from that I'll display whatever I can. Best that I, my ability. Diners are going to be treated to an amazing view tonight, but the question is, will the menus match the setting? Esteban is making a starter, vegetable risotto with poached quail egg, and his main course is aubergine lasagna with lamb. Leanne is also making a risotto starter, fruity di mare with prawns, squid and monkfish with grilled garlic prawns and caramelized red onion. For her main course, prosciutto wrapped salmon with a creamy pesto sauce with seasonal vegetables. Okay, Scott, well, Half an hour to go for the diners to arrive. Are they going to be ready? I don't think so. No, unfortunately, the, I mean, tonight, this week's a different story. They've both chosen a very complex menu you know, compared to last week's. A um, lot more going on, a lot more preparation. Um, for example, for example, all her fish came in whole. She had to fill it then, which I'm not too sure she'd done before. Clean all her squid, prawns, everything as well. Esteban, same thing. I mean, you know, he's just, there's a lot of things out there that has to be done. Alamuna, you know, done to order pretty much. So. There's not much you can do in advance, so it'll be a push, but we'll see. I need two lemons and some parsley. They've been preparing all afternoon, and as restaurant opening time gets closer, the kitchen Lights gets here, busier. Yeah, yeah. My issue is it's still just making sure I get everything What's ready on time. Ten minutes before diners arrive, the kitchen is severely delayed. We're in the basically, James, to put it, put it pretty bluntly, you know what I mean? You know, not long now, wouldn't mind getting some people fed tonight, you know what I mean? It's just, they're not going to make it on time, basically, so quick 10-minute burst, see if we can get things on track, and hopefully a stub will uh, pick it back up from there. It's probably easier than this day, probably thought about it.
In an ever-changing world, new challenges frequently arise in our personal lives and in the corporate and commercial world. Whether it's advice, structures, planning or strategies that need resolution, Hassan's has the expertise to meet clients' exacting requirements. Our diversity means we are adaptable and flexible. We are innovative, cosmopolitan, multilingual and above all, client-focused. Whatever or wherever the challenge, we can provide the solutions. Abrines, bringing quality brands at affordable prices to your kitchen for over 80 years. Abrines, a member of the Siconian Speed group of companies. It grows back! You've got to see this. For a longer lasting pleasure, Magnum Infinity. Made with special cocoa. An intense chocolate pleasure that stays with you longer, but not forever. Hmm. Magnum Infinity. Good evening and welcome to Nuno's. The clients have arrived. Little do they know that for the first time on Rock Chef, Scott has had to get into the kitchen for there to be any hope of anyone eating tonight. You got salt and pepper somewhere? No. The seasoning? No. Feeling happy that things are getting done and uh, I'm progressing on my meal and uh, a little bit stressed about the time. As the diners relax, Scott ensures the instructions are clear. Okay, Leanne, listen up for a second. Tonight, as the orders come in, I'll yep. yell them out, yes? Yep. You need to respond to me both, the F. I'll keep saying it until I get a response. So you understand? Just yes, chef. So yes, chef, yeah? Okay. And I need everything to come up at once. So you need to communicate together, talk to each other. Leanne, Thank listen. You. you need to communicate and talk to each other, yeah? Yep. So you're bringing up both things at the same time? Yep. Yep. Sort of coming about two minutes, darling, yeah? So, but... Oh, of course, yeah, just get ready. So, you're going to start, yeah? Not yet, I'll, I'll let you know, but just get, just yeah. so you know. Because mine takes a bit longer than it That's all right, as long as you communicate, talk to each other, remember, yeah? Tables are offered both menus. No one knows which one belongs to whom. They are only identified as menu one and menu two. Maitre d' Wally has the first order of the right. night. Three, two seafood, three veg, yeah? Right. Okay, guys, listen up. Leanne, Esteban, first order, yeah? Two seafood risotto, three veg. Yes, yes chef. chef. The olive oil. Parsley. Nice and tidy, so keep your chop more down there. Okay, thanks. Okay, first starters, how long, guys? Five minutes. Okay, don't tell them. Talk to each other. Talk, talk. With the first order going smoothly like, and just yeah, minutes we'll away from Come being on. ready, talk. it's about to get complicated. Okay, new like order in. Two minutes. Guys, listen, another one each of the risottos, please. No, no, in, in front of you, Saban. Plating up now. The first of the starters is ready. Seemingly, it's running smoother than last week. But behind the scenes... Is there two eggs in there? Is there two eggs no, in there? No, one, Chef. Can you put another one in there, please, as soon as possible? Yes, Chef. Do you have any risotto when it's uh, pending? Here we go. Mesa Ocho. Seafood, vegetarian, buddy. 
Okay, new order in. Four seafood risotto, three veg. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Leanne is remembering to communicate, but her presentation is falling short. I'm not accepting that. Look at the state of the plate. Clean it, please. One minute, chef. One minute. Um, I'm having menu one, um, and it's very nice. Poached egg is cooked very well, and the risotto is cooked nice. The rice is a nice texture there. Uh, could possibly have done with a bit of garnish on the plate as well. The plate looked very empty, but um, yeah, it tastes very nice. Okay, how long are the starters, please? Pass it to them. So Leanne, you're giving me two, Estevan, you're giving me three, yes? Yes, Chef. Estevan, yes? Can you taste the second one, Chef? Well, just answer me first and then taste it, yeah? One hour into service and conversations are flowing, but the only food many of these tables have seen so far is the bread roll. For the first time on Rock Chef, Scott has needed to come into the kitchen to help the contestants. He was in here earlier tonight. He is now back in the kitchen because the wait for the paying clients is too long. Yes. The word, yeah. <laughs> I'm still making my sauce for my mate, but it just doesn't take long. Cream, 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 cream. And with all the problems, the last thing Leanne and Esteban need is... But Vicky or no Vicky, the complaints are coming in. OK, a complaint, guys. Taking too long. I need one of each risotto. How long? One minute. I'm burning myself. Two salmon? Yeah. You don't I... master it like you're doing there. It's actually quite nice, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's actually working OK if I can actually get them to turn over. Aubergine lamb lasagna. Mm. Sounds nice. Un risotto frutto di mare. Lovely. Salmon wrapped in prosciutto. Sounds good. I have two starters at the same time, two main course at the same time. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. Two salmon. Well, when I read the menu, I thought it was going to be fantastic. I had the fruit de mer risotto. Um, presentationally, it looked great, but it was a little bit bland, to be honest. And so, I had a little bit of a taste of theirs, so much better. Yes, we had the risotto from the menu one. It's absolutely brilliant, fantastic fusion of flavours, very tasty, especially with the egg on top. When you cut through it and it breaks down in with the risotto, fantastic. The food itself was very good presentation it was a little bit too messy for my liking I think if they're trying to hit the hit the mark it needs to be that little bit more special I think and obviously a two-hour wait is not great it's um, well in most restaurants I think if you're paying for it you'd get up and leave what everyone feared has happened a two-hour delay How long a risotto, as the mate? pressure Please. intensifies Nerves take over. Don't not through. I'm worried it's going to burn on the bottom now. Flip it over then. What is that thing? You want me to send it to the urge? Hey! Please give me one seafood risotto, sweetheart. Are you ready? Yeah. Leanne, from you, first up, I need two, then six. A little bit scant on the plate, I must say. A soft yolk, so that's good. It's good. Again, a little bit minus on the seasoning. Hey guys, mains away, table three, two salmon, three lasagna. Sweetheart. Morale is low. Esteban has also burnt his hand and is lasagna, in pain. Two salmon, how long? But determination is one thing both contestants have. I'm in pain, but I want to finish the service. It's bad. It's not going 
go out of this competition but not quitting, just losing. Three lasagna, yes? When your hands got Quickly, I know there's something waiting to leave uh, the kitchen. This is one of the plates brought back by the waiters. They finished. Was it good enough? Well, it looks like no. I mean, the problem with this table was no communication leads to this again. You know, um, Leanne Sifi Rodolfo Rosado is beautiful, ready on time. No communication together with uh, Esteban. Undercooked Rosado by the looks of it. Yes. Rubbish. And even Vicky, who was the last to arrive, is feeling the effects of a long wait. 45 minutes after my starter. I prefer my salmon a bit pinker, but I think it's really well done considering the pressure she's under. It's really tasty. I think for a main course, it's a little bit small. Slightly under generous. I'd like to see more of the plate, maybe some additional vegetables or some more colour. I think that's really nicely done. Starting at it, but um, so far so good. Uh, very nice. I'm an aubergine fan, so uh, it's kind of sympathetic to my taste buds. Despite the delays, the comments on the food are well, good, fun. but final orders are still to leave the kitchen and the contestants need to keep their energy going. Despite the delays, the comments on the food are good, but final orders are still to leave the kitchen and the contestants need to keep their energy going. It's beautiful, by the way. Chef, what's he doing? We asked him if you're not going to be happy with it. What do you mean? What's, that, what's in that bottle down there? Or what was it in? Uh, um, it was the red wine vinegar in my sauce. Beautiful. Get out here, mate. But there's no one on the pot. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. You did well. It was bloody hard. You did well, bloody yeah? Hard. Don't be too disheartened. It is hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Scott, uh, you're making no secret of the fact that you are again disappointed. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it was a lot harder menu, you know what I mean? Kitchen, I mean, compared to the other week, I mean, last week's kitchen was a lot smaller, easier menu. This week's kitchen, a lot bigger, harder menu. So. It, it was a letdown again. I mean, we got everything out, and it was quicker than last week, but there was some disasters, as, you, as you've seen. I mean, poor uh, Miss Savan's burning his hand very badly. Um, same, as, same as the girl, she's burned her hand quite badly as well. Both of me and the uh, other chef could jump in to help him, otherwise, basically, nobody would have got fit. So, you know, once again, a bit of a letdown, but yeah, a lot harder menu, so. I'm exhausted, I'm burned, I'm cut. I'm so glad this is done and, uh, you know, uh, come to know Leanne in this experience and, you know, I'm, I'm happy for either of us to go through. I'm just, I just want this night to be over. <laughs> wow, that was tough, much tougher than I thought. Um, just really, really exhausting and really stressful, but a brilliant experience. I'd, I'd definitely try it again and, yeah, I think my dishes worked and I, I think I've got what it takes to get to the next round. Vicky, another night. What do you think? How was things in the dining room this evening? I think it was really tight tonight. Really tight. Why? How come? What, what was tight? I about? just, I really enjoyed both dishes. I thought both risottos were a bit faulty. Mm -hmm. I especially didn't like the fact that menu number one, the risotto, was sort of set in a ring because everybody knows risotto should be almost liquid. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where that idea came from, but obviously the consistency wasn't right. It wasn't designed to be right either. Um, but I thought they were both minus on flavour. Okay. Mains, mains, where are you the mains? I loved them both. I really? really yeah, I really did. I thought they did a really good job. Mm -hmm. So much pressure they were under. 
that little lasagna, lamb, whatever it was meant to be. That was beautiful. Well, I mean, the problem was the other chef had to jump in, the head chef, the client had to jump in and help. Yeah, I wanted to get your take on, on that. I wanted to, because it's such a tight call for me, I really yeah. need, your, need your call on you know, what you think of service, how, because well, really that well, is going to be the deciding line, it's going yeah. to be the service. The really. thing as well, for that, that lasagna thing, um, I mean, how that chef had to jump in. Yeah. Fair play. And yeah. did he burn his hand as well? Burn his hand as well, yeah. But then the problem is, I was getting you know, raw salmon. Trying to, you know, I was trying to be sent raw salmon. So, I mean, you know, it's it's tricky, this one. I don't, I don't know. I mean, they're both, mm. you know, both bad in a lot of ways and I think more bad than good. But I just thought that the um, lasagna just needed something else on the plate. It looked a little bit small and lost mm -hmm. and a really small portion. I mean, I ate four plates tonight, two starters and two mains, and I was comfortable at the end of it. I mean, I've been known to... Greedy, greedy. <laughs> I know. I've you been known to... You could <laughs> but, um, but I'm, what I'm saying is I thought the portions were a little bit scant just on, on, on menu one. We'll, 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 have a, we'll have a chat and we'll see how we go. Yeah, it's really tight for me. Okay. Uh, okay. It could go either way. I, I really need your advice on, on that, on the service because okay. without your call on service, I don't know which way this is going to go. For the first time on Rock Chef, Scott and Vicky are undecided. After deliberations well into the night, it's time for James to deliver the results. Esteban, Leanne, it's been a complicated night and the judges have made their decision. Leanne, an ambitious menu but more thoughts could have gone into how it was going to be served. But as you've realized tonight, it's not the same cooking at home for four people as it is for a full restaurant. Esteban, you also had an ambitious menu and the judges also felt you had needed to prepare better. Unfortunately, your risotto consistency was wrong but regarding your lamb, the judges thought it was beautiful. However, despite the difficult conditions, you both managed to serve your food and you're commended for that. It has been decided that the person going through to the next round is... Leanne. Leanne. Okay. Well done, darling. Well done, yeah? Sorry about that. You all right? I'm going to see you. Why not? I'm going to see you. Why not? Well done, mate, yeah? Well done. Well done, Sham, anyway, yeah? Well done. Didn't deserve it to listen. Well done. I haven't got through. How I'm feeling is I'm actually glad. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I know uh, today my food wasn't the best going out where in one day you don't put a good dish out and you go home and that's that's how it works so so I deserve to go home. Two women are through to the semi-finals next week Benjamin and Ainsley battle it out in the kitchen for the last remaining spot who will join Zoe and Leanne find out next week on Rock Chef. Good night. Tonight has been tough and with only one place left in the semi-final, it's all to play for on Rock Chef next week. All recipes are available on gfsb.gi and join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter.